Is it with him? Uh, rub some acid in his eyes. That'll refresh him. Come here. Come here. Master, evilness truly suits you. Let us go forth. There are nefarious deeds to be done. I feel the land quaking with fear already. I am Narl, minion master and devoted servant of darkness. The haziness will pass and your muscles will become limber again. You have been asleep for a very long time. This cavern is the spawning pit, sire, where new minions are born and live. Now you are here, you can call forth minions from this minion gate. Ah, look at those keen little evil faces, ready to loot and pillage at your command. Let us continue. Follow me if you wish to study the finer points of combat and minion control. Of course, if you want to get straight to the smiting, then I shall meet you in the throne room upstairs. Your minions will follow you wherever you go, Master, unless you give them a task. Being Overlord is more than just throwing a few fireballs and causing chaos. Proper evil takes skill and maybe, well, just a bit of mayhem. <laughs> I think the Sleeping Beauty's a little rusty. Oh, our jester, sire. I really should have nailed him out for the crows long ago. Teach him to respect his overlord. <laughs> You're tickling! <laughs> Good! Now hit him again! <gasps> Don't hold back! <laughs> See? It's all coming back now. Evil is not something you just forget. Come on, you metal lump! You're giving evil a good name! That's it! Now you've got him! Princess, you move like a dead butcher. Shame you don't smell as good. He's out of your reach, sire. Use your minions to shut his flapping mouth. Oi, Tubbs! They should call you the Overlord. Oh, it warms my black heart to see them running about the place, trying to rip each other apart. Call your minions back, Master! All of them! Why, Mr. Overlord! Show me some evil! If you need your minions to follow a complicated route, then you must sweep them through it. Call that evil? Overlord? Overrated, more like. <laughs> Don't let him get away, sire. Sweep your minions after him. Bet he'll whittle himself silly. <laughs> I hurt! I hurt! I think you're ready, Master. Accompany me to the throne room. Evil deeds won't do themselves. Feel free to beat him further if you wish. Leave me alone! 
alone, sire. I've got to heal. Oh. An evil tower needs its evil jester, sire. Please don't kill me. You're evil. You're evil. You're really, really evil. I get it, Lord. I get it. Your throne room, sire. Alas, one cannot be a bastion of evil these days without wretched heroes lining up to prove themselves. That last lot were particularly bothersome, killing your predecessor like that. Still, you're here now, sire. Evil will always find a way. They also looted and destroyed much of the tower. But it's merely a setback for the forces of darkness, sire. You are our new overlord! Rebuild your tower, punish those so-called heroes, and re-establish a dark domain. This is the tower portal, sire. Sadly, it's missing its power source, the tower heart. However, there's still a tiny bit of energy left. It's just enough to transport you to the last known location of the heart. When you're ready, sire, step through the gate. I shall meet you on the other side. Salutations! Most wise master! Keeper of the ruined tower! Ah, you made it through the gate, sire. This tranquil wilderness, so rural and idyllic, hideous, is it not? Try not to inhale it, my lord. You can summon your minions from these gates. They are ancient arcane links between your tower and this land. Currently, you can only summon browns. You must find the other lost Midian tribes before you can summon them. Perhaps we may recover some of our looted tower objects in this lush, verdant abomination. Crown Minions are your main fighters. They will happily die, so you don't have to. These fluffy creatures barely know they're alive but you can still harvest life force from them. Your minions will dutifully bring you anything they find, like this life force. They do not have the wit to do anything else, nor the pockets. You can absorb life force yourself, Master, by merely getting near it. All they do is chew grass until something kills them. Stupid, pointless creatures. For the Overlord! All yours, you putrid lumps of flesh. Make your master proud. Onwards. Oh! Halflings took over my farm. Tied me up in the sun to scare the birds. Now, those pumpkins are plotting against poor Bob. They want revenge for all the pies I made. And the soup. And the jelly, and the, uh, ice cream. I hear the pumpkins whispering at night. 
But I won't leave my farm to the Harflings. Oh, no. They're worse than the pumpkins. Please help get Bob's farm back. Oh. Your creatures ain't related to pumpkins, are they? They're screaming. The pumpkins are screaming. They're scared. Get them. Get them. Even the birds laugh at me. They're in league with the pumpkins. <gasps> Keep those squeaky things away from me. Get them away. Your creatures ain't related to pumpkins, are they? <laughs> that showed him. Oh, you better get going, Sonny. Well, the path beyond my house leads to the village of Spree. Oh, I bet there are more of them fat little demons about. So be careful. Me? Well, I think I'll stay here. Fix me farm. Maybe grow marrows instead. Yeah, marrows don't talk so much. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Your minions can access areas that are too small for your evil magnificence. Oh, yeah. that rose from those dead halflings. That's evil energy. It gathers in all us evil creatures. You will learn more of it in time, Master. The Tower Heart. The halflings must have used it to grow pumpkins. The little fools. They have no idea of the real power it contains. Clear those pumpkins and let's get it back to the tower. Careful! Careful! have found a shortcut. Moldy, keep up with the other minions. Giblet, I see you pretending to hold it with one claw. Hold your share, Gubbin, you useless sack of pus. It is back where it belongs. This is the heart of the tower, sire. It will play a vital role in helping re-establish your dark domain. It will allow you to visit the tower whenever you wish and provide access to all of the tower's resources. And look, it seems to have bestowed a little gift upon you, sire. You can now control ten minions. Ha! 
and it seems to have retained one of its spells. The fireball spell. Robust fellow. Might have known he'd make it. I'll teach you how to use him when the need arises, but I urge you, sire, find more of our missing tower objects. A crane would be particularly handy. Then we could clear the debris around here. Open up some rooms. Unfortunately, I am not the evil entity that I once was. I cannot take the feel of lush green grass under my feet and birdsong in my ears. In fact, I think I need to find a dark corner and something to pummel. I shall stay here. The heart will allow me to speak directly to you, sire, and see and hear what you do. Use the gate to return to the halfling domain. Salutations! <laughs> testing, testing, one, two. Is, is this thing working? It's a bit grubby. Can you hear me, master? Oh, uh, there you are. And now, sire, the creatures around here are rather frisky, so they will have undoubtedly repopulated the area. Call forth some minions and head for that peasant village. Spree! Revolting name. Traitor! For the master! <laughs> Halflings approaching, get ready! Hang on, those ain't our flins. Look at the one with the helmet. Could be two halflings holding up some armour. <laughs> yeah, oh, I bet that's it. I don't trust those sneaky little wasp names. Mm, maybe you're right. Here, prove you ain't halflings and free our men from the camps down the road. If you are, stay right there so I can get my aim straight. Now that Lord Spree's gone, we're the last line of defence. We let them in and they'll have us in one of those work camps before you can say tea and cakes. Go on, get out of here. Sure you're not a coward like Lord Spree. Yeah, and try not to die horribly. There, in the field, greedy little halflings. Use your fireball spell on the wheat and roast them like suckling pigs. Yeah, we ain't letting you in unless you prove you're not one of them knee nutters. Sire, killing innocents, <laughs> and I use the term loosely, increases your corruption level. <laughs> this attracts more evil energy, which increases your powers. However, 
This is really suitable for establishing a long-term evil plan. That requires people, living people. Gratitude comes with its own rewards. This must be the work camp those peasants spoke of. Be careful, Lord. This is an arcane blood pit, sire. You can sacrifice minions here to regain your own health. Have no fear. Your minions will gladly die for you. They're very loyal. <laughs> Mana pit! Oh, I haven't seen one of these in years. They allow you to sacrifice your minions and replenish your mana. Throwing rocks! Primitives! a full set of minions with you. Halflings might be short, but they're tough. For the master! For you! For the master! I hear the bleating of lesser creatures, my lord. Look, sire, a wheel! Your minions can turn these and, well, you never know what might happen. I've got calluses! My beautiful hands! We've got to keep chopping. For you!
us out. Trisha. There are more prisoners over there, but they've got a big old troll guard in them. No sense in dying when there are others willing to do it for you. Fear and awe can be valuable commodities, sire. There are more prisoners over there, but they've got a big old troll guard in them. Get us out of here! We don't need this crane anymore. You take it. Well, it is ours, wretched creatures. Quickly, sire, have your minions bring it to the waypoint gate. to spray let's go to spray Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, never doubted you for a second. We were just having a little fun with you earlier. No offence, eh? <laughs> You've saved us! Our boys are safely home! Oh, a fine job, my lord. Nice to see folks enjoying themselves for a change. Quite a wild bunch, aren't they? Back home in Ruboria, I'm called Archibald Damius Methuselah Wobbleboard III, but folks around here just call me Archie. We've had some tough times. The halflings have ransacked most of the farms and everyone's turned up in spree on my doorstep. They voted me mayor. I got the drinks, yeah but no food to feed them. Look, I really need some... Uh, <laughs> Valiant Knights to get us back the food the halflings stole from us. Their village lies to the east. I bet they're keeping it there. Go on. Full tummies for us equals fuller pockets for you, if you get my drift. Thank you for freeing us! I'll bet a barrel of beer that our food is in the halfling village to the east. I can't get rid of the halfling stench! That Melvin always used to be teased for being so small. Well, he ain't so small now. <laughs> Those halflings might be half the size, but they're twice the trouble. You better go sort out that Melvin. Good halfling's a dead halfling. That's what a real hero looks like. Thank you for freeing us. I'm gonna name a pumpkin after you. Hey, are those creatures for sale? Are those creatures for sale? Looks like they're preparing a party down there. We should hurry up, sire. 
don't want to miss it. Seems that we won't be joining the party just yet. While they're busy here, perhaps you should find out where those greedy devils have hidden Spree's food. Looks like you'll be able to fit your magnificent and imposing presence in through their lord. For the master! For the master! For the overlord! Tread lightly, Master, and make sure those halflings never wake up.
those filthy vermin don't seem to like the halflings. They smell their own. The halflings have got holes everywhere. Seal them up and stop those overgrown weevils. Those halflings say they're going to serve us to Melvin. Oh, I don't want to be lunch. Oh, thank you. Thank you! <laughs> hey, those harflings brought a load of food down here. You looking for it?
nice of me. It must have taken them years to grow. Don't you just want to smash it up? Now control 15 millions. 15! That's double the number of brain cells in the average sheep. <laughs> Seems that some careless halfling has broken that wheel. You'll have to find the missing spokes before you can use it.
for you. to turn it. the nest, sire. Careful! You should not alarm them all at once. Otherwise, they'll have your minions upside down in a pot before you know it.
There's the food. Use your minions to move it, Master. Is saved. Thank you, Lord. If you could just place the food over here, Lord, we should take it up to Spree. That food would provide you with a substantial amount of life force, sire. You could leave them the food. Just walk next to the platform and let your minions leave the food supply on it. Or if you're feeling particularly evil, why not just keep it? That is, if we dispose of the <clears throat> witnesses. Hey! <laughs> A generous act. I hope Spree will reward you accordingly. Now we have the crane, we can start to rebuild your tower, sire. That crane is just the job. Your minions are opening up the dungeon. Do go see it. It's so soothing. You can fight almost anything you like down there, providing you've already defeated it once. Hail! If you're feeling in the mood to practice your combat skills, sire, then this is the place to do it. The tower can recreate many of the enemies you've conquered, so you can kill them again at your leisure. <laughs> Salutations! <laughs> Merciful quietener of the grumbling stomachs! Saviour of the Tower Heart! Well, well, well. It appears Melvin, the halfling hero, is all grown up and out. Pity he doesn't have the taste in music he does in food. Thank you for freeing us. I want to be just like you. Yay! 
Looks like they're preparing a party down there. We should hurry up, sire. Don't want to miss it. We group! Looks like Melvin is making a run for it. Well, a waddle for it. Your minions seem bewitched. It does have a haunting beauty to it. Perhaps we should stay a while. Revel in the melody. Oh, my feet, Master. I can't stop them. Oh, I'm dancing. I'm actually dancing. Quick, do something, sire. So often, the great die before their time. You won't be following that tub of blood until you fix that wheel, sire. For you! For you! Taking 
You are not flameproof, Master. Enlist the aid of the Red Minions. Only their skin can absorb the flames. <laughs> This for one bloated halfling hero, they could feed a hundred minions. The Reds! Those halflings must be using them to start the cooking fires! They must use that wheel to control the flames! Screaming halfling. So small now. <laughs> Come in. 
here. Wash food. Eat food. A balloon master. <laughs> that is concentrated evil, sire. It accumulates in those of an especially evil disposition. Now you've dealt with Melvin. You should endeavor to find our fiery friends. Village! That's mine! Village! That's, That's mine! mine. Look after them and they'll look after you. Just like one big evil family. <laughs> As I explained, reds are fire immune, but they also have a powerful ranged attack. Summon some red, sire. If you've reached your maximum minion horde with your browns, you can swap them at the gate. I think you should have a little practice, sire. Select your reds. Reds! Now sweep your reds into that fire barrier over there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> this is Red Life Force, sire. It will allow you to summon more reds. That's the Red Minion Hive Master. Summon enough reds to carry it to the waypoint gate. Reds! Treasure! <laughs> 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 Browns.
choose all. to test out your reds on those halflings. Recall your reds from the red hive and commence oh. the fry and die, oh. sire. Reds! Reds! Choose all! You cannot reach them from here. You must reposition your reds for maximum flaming carnage. Reds! Sire, you can hold the position of your minions by placing guard markers for them. You choose all! See? Now they are holding off the cooks. You can sweep your browns to that fire wheel. Was carnage. Well done, sire. Reds. All. Reds. Reds! 
Sire, there seems to be a surge of evil energy coming from the Mellow Hills. Your peasants are being drawn towards it. Salutations! Welcome to the spawning pit, Master. Salutations! Leader of the Fire Starters! Exploder of Melvin Underbelly! Lord, now you've got rid of Melvin, the sheep are flourishing. Take as many as you like, sire. They're breeding faster than I can count them. Oh, more sheepies! <laughs> Gods have surely smiled upon us, lowly peons. They have given us a way to escape our dark overlord. It must be a passage. A passage to heaven. Do I get wings? I want wings. Do they have wings? Oh, I hope they have wings. Come on, let's be free from this sheep killing pumpkin smashing overlord. That overlord can grow his own bloody food. I'm going where there's a halo with my name on it. And wings, don't forget the wings. I had some wings once, gave me a rash. However, sire, you have an evil domain to uphold. You can't just let your subjects wander off. It's bad for your image. Find out where they're going and stop them. You're a gent. I couldn't have spent another night listening to my grumbling stomach. You're welcome at the Happy Mule, anytime. I can't get rid of the halfling stench. Do you have a lady friend, you big heroic cunk you? Your 
the best kind of hero. One with their own army. Castle Spree is under siege. It's burning. Uh, the the, 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 the demons—they came—they they came out of the air. The lady, she told us to run, so I ran and I didn't look back, even when the screaming started. I don't know if the others made it. I'm not going back there again. and halflings couldn't do this much damage. I smell magic in the air. That's never a good smell. Sire, I think you should investigate further. Most definitely not local. I wonder if the lady that gibbering peasant mentioned is behind this. Better find another way in, oh master of the shadows. Reds! Oh! <laughs> Reds! You choose all! Reds! Oh! Oh! Reds! You choose all! Reds! Oh! Reds! Oh!
Increased. I wish mine had. Salutations. Please hurry, they're coming. Stay back. These people are no threat to you. Put that down. Okay, let's just run. <coughs> Quick, the storeroom. That was horrible. Unless you want the horrible following us in here, I suggest you shut the door. You choose all! Keep those reds at the back. Your little creatures are just darlings, aren't they? I'm Rose. Well, it seems like you can handle yourselves. Interested in a job? Have you heard about the Heaven's Peak Plague? It's nasty. Very nasty. I came here to see if this place could shelter the poor lumps that aren't infected. Yet. Ugh. I need to get out of here, but I can't leave with these raiders everywhere, and I need my luggage. Could you deal with them and retrieve it for me? Oh, you should probably know. Those raiders had a strange creature with them. It's bound to be magical. Must have helped them get in here. Reds! You choose all it's Oh, Ritz! Oh. <laughs> 
Those raiders don't want me helping the plague victims. They want to create chaos. If that plague gets out of Heaven's Peak, then things will get very disorganized. And I hate that. Creature's presence explains how these raiders entered the castle. Quick, Master! Position your reds on high ground to attack the beast. You must keep it surrounded. You 
choose all. Oh, Ritz. Keep it surrounded. That's it. Now protect them and take it you down. Choose all. before she mows the place down. If you don't want your skin to rot and drop off, I suggest you find my luggage. Mm, please? Let's head for spree! My luggage! You and your little cherubs found it. Cherubs? Yuck. I thought you were just the usual run-of-the-mill dungeon fodder, but you've surprised me. I think someone like you could use someone like me. Let's go. So this is your tower. Hmm, it could use a bit of work. Greetings, mistress. Sire, we've managed to reopen the private quarters. I've instructed the minions to take milady's luggage there. If you're heading to Heaven's Peak, perhaps you could investigate what's been causing the plague. I'd better get up there. Wouldn't want those little deers eating my things and getting a tummy ache. Give me a chance to spruce up the place a little, then come on up. I'll put the kettle on. Ah, there you are. This place isn't what I'm normally used to, but one has to make the best of things, I suppose. Let me show you around. Not much to look at here, but nothing that a really good dust wouldn't cure. Now this could be a great space. A bedroom, a banqueting area, even your own private interrogation room. I think that this area would make an adorable treasure vault. I think the lighting would set off your riches wonderfully. You do have riches, don't you? Now this is the nerve centre of your evil domain. I've created a scale model of your tower out of bits and bobs I found lying around. I'm very resourceful. Just what we need. Huh.
Merciful quietener of the grumbling stomachs. Savior! Creatures saved us some work. Careful. This is the only bit of farmland we've managed to save from the halflings. But the crops won't be ready for months. We'll have starved by then. Halfling patrols are still out there. We've seen them go into this old workshop. Think they're keeping something in there. Choose all! Ooh, an object! I like objects! Creatures, quick, find another route, then decide how to deal with these worthless peons. I've never seen anything like it. Darn elves can't keep their own forest under control. These roots are strangling our crops. The forest? It's gone crazy. That ain't natural, I'm telling you. I've tried cutting them, setting them on fire. Nothing helps. It's elf magic. I never trusted those 40 year layabouts. Oh, yeah. 
Retrieved a smelter, sire. More forging options are available. Your minions have opened the Tower Forge. The smelter is being taken there. Visit the forge, Dark One, and create weapons and armor truly worthy of an overlord. Hail! Ah, the forge, sire. This place has brought forth weapons that could slay troll kings and armor that could stop a dragon's breath. Giblet has been promoted to Forge Master. He will show you around. The smelter is heating, sire. Please follow Giblet to the Forge Chamber. Here you can forge new items and upgrade existing ones. You can create three types of items. Weapons, helmets, and armor. Rescuer of the distressed damsel. I smell roasted harflin on the breeze. Remember, sire, 
Never trust anything that's head height with your groin. Only good halflings are dead halfling. was once filled with elven magic. Creature and plant existed harmoniously amid leafy canopies and sun-dappled pools. <laughs> now, it is dank, dark, corrupted. Ooh, I like what they've done with the place. on this once verdant soil. What creature has the dreaming brought forth? Alas, Oberon is truly sickened. Elves, even dead ones, can speak telepathically to all magical beings, sire. Lazy creatures. It must prove that it is not a manifestation made flesh. If you are of the earth, and not of the mind. Seek out the one-horned beasts. Once they bestowed healing, but now they crave the blood of living creatures. All living creatures. Blood! Blood! Release them from their pain and return here. Only then shall you learn more of Evernight's sorrow. Reds! Soppy, overrated pit ponies. Elves are despised, but not as much as bloody unicorns. Da! I see one the play! Oh! Reds! You choose all! your imposing form can enter water, your minions cannot. Well, they can, but they will drown in a rather amusing way. You must find them a bridge across. Oh, 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 oh,
You choose all! spell will get your minions all riled up, sire. It also increases their health and armor. The beasts are slain. Alas, it is only a brief light that shines within this darkness. Listen to the forest. Its sadness will tell you more. Traveled the lands, vanquishing the great people. But when last he returned, our great hero lost his taste for battle. When the dwarven invaders came, he would not fight. Oberon's blade became dull, his bowstring brittle, and he would not wake from his slumber. Around him grew this tree, swaddling him in its branches. Then the dreaming came. Oh. Oberon gave form to his blackest dreams. They drove out the invaders. The tree grew over the place where the invaders entered our lands, but its roots drew power from the forest, corrupting all within. Now Oberon's nightmares rule every night. Oh, so sad. <laughs> Do not try to cross these blooms, Lord. You will need to find minions with a resistance to poison first. 
Only they can destroy this noxious flora. Mm. Oberon. Catchy name. That elf is protected by a powerful shield master. The roots give it energy. Weakening. You must destroy the other root known sire. No doubt the dwarf domain is bloated with the spoils of war. We must find a way through, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Green minions, we are in luck. They have resistance to the poisonous plants in Evernight. You must find their lair. Green smell! Green smell! Bell! <laughs> Poison pods, delicious sautéed in a splash of demon's bile. Deadly, of course. So perhaps they'd be more useful for dispensing a touch of mass carnage. Let's. Thank <laughs> you. 
Your mana has been increased. The Viridian Caverns. The green minions must have made their home here. You must follow them, master. Follow! Follow! For you! Being an observant lord, I'm sure you've noticed that our green friends are immune to all kinds of poisons. to summon green minions to your side. They can also destroy the plants that produce these noxious fumes. are also known for their poor hygiene. Look at this place. Even evil creatures should have standards.
crowns, reds, all. the greens to pick up the green hive. We will need it to summon Wait. more of them. Those vile weeds, sire. Clear them for you. Greens. Yeah, 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 yeah
Oh! Greens! Pushing skills. Oh, greens! A wild troll! Quick, direct the greens onto its back. They have a furious backstab attack. Step it! Step it! Step it! Your greens like a bit of discipline. When you place them on a guard marker, they will grow in power and become almost invisible to enemies. Well, apart from their permanent odor of rotting flesh and fish heads. Greens! Get past 
Choose all! Queens? Jason! Shield spell. Greens. from oncoming enemies. It's got a bit of a kick to it too, which will send them flying. Depressing. Pull yourself together, man. Oh, my God. 
Greens! children of the goddess praise her for she is mother to all races but embraces the elves as her kindred do, do not forsake us elf mother <sighs> Greens, reds, you choose all. Oh! <laughs> 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 
Your army is a waste. Sire, if only we had minions that could swim or float or not drown quite so fast. Blues swim like fishes. <laughs> Fragile peace was shattered. Sword met axe, arrow met shield, as had done in the old wars. Ooh, an object. I like objects.
Your minion cap has been upgraded. The slime, the stagnant odor, the festering corpses. It's all so homely. You'll see that the city of heaven's peak dominates these swamp-laden lands, my lord. Within it, the great citadel of Angelus Keep squats like a fly on a dung pile. <laughs> Green, you choose all. Look, friend, the camp is getting pretty full now. We just can't take in anymore. And your little friends look pretty far gone. I I'm sorry. I don't think he's a refugee, sir. From the way he's dressed, I'd say he's heading to the city, not away from it. You mean you actually want to get in? What's wrong with this guy? You know about the plague, right? The zombies? The city's been closed off. Orders of Sir William, our paladin governor. He even cancelled his own wedding. And that's ain't a woman you want to cancel on. Look, if you and your creatures want to start wandering about, be my guest. I suppose you might find a way in if you search. But I warn you, it's not safe. And you won't get any help from us. We've enough work to do in the camp as it is. And zombies ain't the worst of it. Wins! You choose all! Reds! All! Hey, I see you looking at my sheep. Keep your creatures away from my girls. Oh, come here, sheepy sheepy. Reds! Oh! <laughs> For you! <laughs> For the master! <laughs> For you! <laughs> For you! <laughs> Sir! For you! That's it. Stay back, girls. Daddy's going to teach the bad man a lesson. Terrible. Everything aches. 
Sir William shut the others in. Shut them in with those things! I'm telling you, he went into that inn, and I never saw him again. Those knights give me the creeps. They're too quiet. That's mine. I don't know what's worse. Stuck in there with them, or stuck out here with them. Something strange is going on at that inn. Uh, uh, what's happening? What's happening? Get away from me. Get away. Get away. I got out before they shut the city. Wouldn't want to be trapped in there. Hey, big guy, get over here. Heard you might be looking for a way into Heaven's Peak. <laughs> You're crazy, you know that? But I've still got a family in there. So, maybe you're the kind of crazy we need right now. See that sewer entrance over there? I've been watching it, seen a few refugees coming out. Not many, I grant you, and some are in a bad way, a real bad way. But if you want in, there it is. If you want to cross water, you'll need to locate the blue minions. They must be somewhere around here. They gravitate towards watery areas. You don't want to leave the camp! Red! You want your brain to eat like a boiled egg? Misunderstood young ladies. They just want a little bit of love, a little bit of death, just like the rest of us. Browns! You choose all! Yeah. <laughs> 
Your mana has been increased. You choose all. I might have known that the blues would find somewhere nice and damp to hide. Go forth, sire, and retrieve their hive. As you can see, Lord, the Blues are not adept fighters. It will be removed, but they can resurrect fallen minions. As you can see, sire, Blues can cross water. You will need their skills to retrieve that hive. There's the blue hive. Return it to the tower and bring our boys home. These blues will help carry the blue hive back to the tower. Only blues can cross water, sire. We need that blue hive. Blue life force, sire. I don't think I need to tell you what that is good for. Those blues need your help, sire, before they're turned into bird food. Use the eggs to lure those birds away. Blues! You choose all!
for you. Blues. Oh, wins. Browns. Oh. Oh. Blues. Greens. You choose blues. Blues! Blues are magic immune, my lord. They are also the only minions that can deal damage to magical beings. Like this wisp. Trying to drown your minions. Use your blues quickly. Thank <laughs> you. 
on those drowning minions. and get that hive out of there. My feet feel soggy just watching you. Blue Green. Oh. The geyser field looks rather dangerous. Use your guard marker ability to carefully guide your minions through. Boiled minions are no good to anyone.
Choose all!
These creatures are Boombo birds. They are as deadly as they are stupid looking and fiercely protective of their eggs.
choose all. I don't know what's worse, I'm stuck in there with them, or stuck out here with them. Something strange is going on at that inn.
Those knights give me the creeps. They're too quiet. I don't know what's worse. Stuck in there with them, or stuck out here with them. I see you looking at my sheep. Keep your creatures away from my girls. Oh, come here, sheepy sheepy. But a master, but a master, but a master. But a master. For you!
green is all. An object. I like objects. You choose all! Your health has increased. Reds! Greens! Blues! Browns! All! Blues! You choose all! Reds! Oh! Oh! 
I don't know what's worse, stuck in there with them, or stuck out here with them! Dead. The serious kind of dead. Where you don't get up and start lurching around. No challenge there, sire. Oh, my God. 
Choose all news. the plague either. It looks like the silent order, sire. They have a temple within Heaven's Peak.
Reds lose. Browns. You choose all. Choose all!
all. Brown. Red. Green. Blue. Brown. You choose all. You can see why they called the Silent Order. Although having their mouths stitched up doesn't really give them a choice.
you're going the wrong way. The city's infested. The priests have shot the temple. And all Sir William does is throw endless parties with that creepy red Don lot. He couldn't give a rat's fart about us. We're making a run for it. Better join us if you don't want to end up with bits hanging off. You're blooming crazy, you are. Browns, blues, greens, reds, browns.
You choose all! Congratulations, sire. You have found a new domination spell. Slow down advancing enemies, giving you more time to make them very dead. Greens, red, blue, all, all, blues, you choose all.
for conversation, was he? Ah! You killed it! Stone dead! But even six of us couldn't take down that fallen knight. I'm going to tell the others. I'm going to get a drink. I don't want to remember anything about this place. Sir William used to visit the inn, and it weren't to drink there. Enemies, they must die. There's no cure for it, no cure. Thank you, Lord. Since Sir William returned from his last crusade, the city has spiraled into chaos. There were zombies everywhere. Some say demons, too. And we even had to cancel the royal wedding. Some young harlot, I imagine, with full breasts and an empty head. Could you look into it, Lord? I should stay here. Do what I can for these folks. Some are as frightened to go as they are to stay. Well, that's just typical of her. I mean, of her type, sire. A silly little wench, too daft to know what she's getting herself into. So William doesn't care about this city anymore. You been to the under streets yet? Did you see the forge? Is it really there? Bah, it's uh, just schoolboy puff. There ain't no magical forge. I heard the poor quarters still heavily infested. I don't know what's become of this city. I really don't. I've got to get out of this place. But out there, it might be even worse. Sir William has forgotten the code of the paladins. I think those priests must be behind it. Position. 
If you feel like some zombie bastard. Ooh, an object. I like objects. I don't know what's become of this city. I really don't. So William doesn't care about this city anymore. 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 Have you seen the Citadel? It's guarded by flying demons. And now the flamethrower spell is the fireball's older brother. Just aim it at anything flammable and you'll have more charcoal than you could ever wish for. Blues! Greens, reds, browns, blues, greens, you choose all. Blues, have you seen the citadel? It's guarded by flying demons. So William doesn't care about this city anymore. Reds! You choose all!
blue, you choose all. Looks like the one in the middle has been Red. munching on a few military brains. He's controlling the others. Oh. Red. I'm sure you don't want to be crushed by a rock giant, sire. So I suggest you find our missing smelter. As I suspected, Lord, there's the Durium smelter. You must return it to the tower at once. Smelter, sire. More forging options are available. William used to visit the inn, and it worked to drink there. 
I'm gonna get a drink. I don't want to remember anything about this place. I've got to get out of this place. But out there, it might be even worse. Have you seen the Citadel? It's guarded by flying demons. Amazing stranger! Brits. Thank you, thank you. We're Blue. very impressed. Oh. Especially the way you killed them all! And tired yourself out. Now we'll have our fun! <laughs> Choose all! Rich! 
Here comes another one. Another one's by the look of it. Now don't you start no trouble in here, lad. We'll be watching. We'll be watching. You never used to be like this. It was a good man, a decent man. <laughs> He never used to be like this. Welcome, sire. It may be hell on earth out there, but at our end, the drinks are still cold. Our beer will take you halfway to heaven, and I'm sure you will find something in here to show you the rest of the way. Come on, witch. We're dying of thirst here. You want to fight, huh? Do you? I'll tell you. You won't take them. They're ours. They love us. They love us. They say that he summoned her to satisfy his, well, you know. You won't take them. They're ours. They love us. They love us. I need something stronger. <laughs> Welcome to the Order of the Red Dawn. Do enjoy your stay. Spoil sport. Oh, an object. I like objects. Spoil sport. 
You're not coming in here with your little goblins. We don't cater for those. Who'd want to get mixed up in this? Summon more minions. Brown, red, blue, green, you choose all. disturb Her Majesty when she is with Sir William. <laughs> Sir William the Paladin has fallen from grace with a succubus queen, eh? So she wasn't enough. She won't be happy about that. Fidelity is not a strong point in succubi. I suspect we found the source of the plague. Together, we will herald an age of peace and love. Reds, blues, greens, all. To stop, our queen does not wish to see you. She has a peace to prepare for the party. Red. 
reds, blues, green. You choose all. She's my sister, oh. Velvet. We don't speak. Speaking usually means she's got herself into some kind of trouble again. Judging by this place, Velvet's in it up to her silly little neck. They say that he summoned her to satisfy his, well, you know. You won't take them. They're ours. They love us. They love us. You wouldn't think that a paladin would come here, but William's a regular. Assassin, we are your lost sheep. 
Sheepies! Sheepies! No! Oh, where's Sheepies? Give us sanctuary. Give us food. We beg you. you. Buy us silent feeds. We're dying out here. Barriers won't save you. Not in the end. They'll break through. They've got to come out sooner or later. And we'll be waiting. Now that's just silly. They're starving potential worshippers. Do something. <laughs> Red. Come on, then! Oh! He's done it! He's broken it down! He's done it! Red. He's broken it down! Blues. Looks like there is some humanity left. Let's go! Yeah, Red. I'm starving! Come on, then! You choose all! is a bit rusty, but I, I believe he's saying, we surrender, please don't kill us. That's why he's asking the way to the nearest banana merchant. I'm inclined to go with the former. <coughs> they appear to have accepted you as their new god, sire.
The Tower Heart is not only the main source of your tower's power, but it also contains information on your minions. Touch it and see. Browns are the toughest of all the minions. They're never ones to shy away from a fight. In fact, it's quite difficult to get them to stop. Such is their dedication to the fight that Browns could also use many different objects as weapons. Reds aren't particularly hardy, so you mustn't let enemies get too close to them, sire. But use them in a pack, and that's a different story. A story full of flames and burning and screaming. <laughs> ah, it's good to have them back. Maybe I can get a hot meal now. Greens can do a great deal of damage if you attach them to an enemy's back. They aren't terribly hygienic, I'm afraid, but they are good at sneaking up on things. Use them to guard an area, and they're practically invisible, as long as the enemies don't notice the smell. The blue minions' minds appear to be on a different plane of existence half the time. When they do decide to join us on this one, their healing and magical damage skills can be most useful. They can resurrect fallen minions during battle, but blues are quite fragile, so position them carefully. Now don't go spending all your money, Lord. I think you have a flair for this. The mumblers. Bye. 
They say that Sir William's knights have special armour crafted in a magical forge below the city. I don't know about that, but they sure are tough brutes. Maybe the paladin will have the wedding once the plague is gone. I heard you cleared the poor quarter. We are in your debt, sire. They say that Sir William's knights have special armour crafted in a magical forge below the city. I don't know about that, but they sure are tough brutes. The plague hasn't gone yet, but it is subsiding. 
I'm going to search for my family. They may have made it to the camp. Your manner has been increased. Soon we can start bringing the refugees back to the city. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. we leave you for dead in that godforsaken tower? You certainly should not be turning up at my party uninvited and flouting the dress code. Reds! You choose all reds! Blues! All! All!
to give me pleasure. At least you're good for a little entertainment. I do hope you can stay the distance, peon! in pain, you know, even in death. Ha! Huh. I can't believe I spent so long defending the right and the just. I thought fun happened to other people. Do not kill all my party guests. Why do you stop to kill cattle? What is life without a little pain? They die to give me pleasure. I can't tell you how good it feels to throw off the shackles of morality and antiquated dogma. a little skill, peasant, but do not overestimate it. I have more. I'm in here. And tell that green dwarf king that he can't have his wedding present back. If I'm not going to have a wedding, I at least want presents. Ugh, <sighs> that's velvet.
The wizard taught me how to seek my freedom. I won't let you take it, you uncouth lout. Never! Yeah. Reds! Blues! You choose all! The wizard is watching. He is always watching. There are no pleasures greater than those of the flesh. and violent death. Now that's the way to start a party. <laughs> <laughs> You choose all! Well, hello, dark stranger. The rumors do not do you justice. You brought me a gift. Some little pixies. You really shouldn't have. Next time, make it something shiny and expensive. Now, let me thank you properly. She's obviously fine. She can find her own way out. Ooh, she's quite the tasty treat, sire. Oh! Ugh! Narl, go to your corner. I'm going down there to sort this out. Sire, the tower can only accommodate one mistress, unfortunately. Come to play the concerned big sister? Come to spoil my fun, have you? And just as my rescuer and I were about to become better... <laughs> you know, I'd increase the abilities of his red and green pixies. And I could do so much more for you, darling. 
Especially if you take this bed back with me. Don't listen to her. Never listen to her. That's people's first mistake. Turn this door wheel and let's go! You should know, sire, that while you were out, I found a way to strengthen your brown and blue minions. Common bribery, Rose. I thought that was beneath you. You're not going to let a poor girl just lie here, are you? Can't you see through her, sire? You'll be sorry. She'll nag you to death. I appreciate your loyalty, sire. Pay no attention to her. She's all talk. Mistress Rose has already upgraded your brown, sire. You can upgrade your blues in your private quarters. Mm. Come on, my lovelies. Pay attention or Auntie Rose will have to hurt you. My sister has some issues, sire. Father was never there and mother spoilt her. Her own puppy, her own pony. No sheepy. Guess who had to clean up the blood? Speaking of cleaning, this place could do with a woman's touch. You should really get it looking a bit more homely. Purger of the perverted paladin! Here you can forge new items and upgrade existing ones. This is where you can select the material type, sire. It's dependent on the types of smelters you have in your forge. Cost and the maximum number of minions you can sacrifice are determined by item and material type. Don't get too carried away, sire. Remember, minions are your deadliest weapons, so don't leave home without them. This is your armory, sire, where you can store your armor and weapons. Leader of the Minion Army! You should be off smiting things, master. Perger of...
Directly under the tree of that sleeping elf, the heart of his nightmares.
choose all. Reds, blues. It seems Oberon does not want us venturing this way. All the more reason why we should. I like objects. being increased.
Choose 
in Evernight untouched by corruption. See, our ancient tree still stands. The area is infested. Those creatures don't know how to destroy the tree. I know you need aid, stranger. Over by the tree is an ancient artifact. Red! Object. I like objects. You are skilled indeed. Now leave me to my grieving. <laughs> Oh! 
Your health has increased. Brown, you choose all.
We are the ever-vigilant ones, sworn to protect the tombs of our heroes fallen in battle. We guard their rest until the day when they shall rise and reclaim our fallen kingdom. It seems that the tombs hold the key to this place. Be thankful for the foolishness of others. Intruders! Defilers! Infidels! Cease so I may strip the quivering flesh from your unholy bones! Whatever they see, so make sure they don't see you. Yeah, I don't 
It's gone! The statue's gone! I told you lot to hurry up! Fools! We're meant to be the thieves. And look, those rock huggers have got here first! Let's get out of here. You, call the overseer. Honey, love muffin, I found you. You mustn't use the overseer, Snugglebottom. The old man don't like it. Clearly I didn't hit you hard enough. Jew, I don't like you beaming off like that, my little thieving sugar plum. Just stop. Talking. It makes Khan angry! Look what you did! Come on, you great lug. Let's go. We are lost. We are lost. The statue is gone. She has been taken from us. Is the destruction of our race not enough for those barbarians? Ah, a new minion spell. We beseech you. Return her, and you will not find us without gratitude. Until then, we shall mourn. We are lost. We are lost. The statue is gone. She has been taken from us. Is the destruction of our race not enough for those barbarians? Berserk! Goodbye, sire. This temporarily raises the defense and attack of your minions. However, they have very little self-control and will attack anything they see, animal, vegetable, or mineral. This node is sturdier than the rest. Something must have strengthened it. And there is the something now! The proximity of those trolls must have toughened the node. Open long enough to fight. He can sleep all he likes in the afterlife. You must take the fight to Oberon, Lord. Come on, man, what are you waiting for? He's not going to move himself. You must take the fight to Oberon, Lord. <laughs> Come on, man, what are you waiting Please. for? He's not going to move himself. Oh. 
take the fight to Oberon Lord. <laughs> Come on, man, what are you waiting for? He's not going to move himself. Shield spell, Lord. Works like your normal shield, Lord. Only he's got a bit of a charge to him. 
He'll stun your enemies, giving you time to give them a good bashing. We are on the outskirts of the Golden Hills, home to the dwarves. Now dwarves, sire, they're like angry beards on legs. Angry, fear-soaked beards on legs. like anything that fires or burns, and especially <gasps> explodes. Make that their downfall, sire. <laughs> Your mana has been increased. Oh, 
Be glad of that chasm, master. Rock giants don't take kindly to anything squashier than they are. And everything is squashier than they are. I've never seen the point of slugs. They seem to exist merely to be squashed. These creatures may be deadly, but they have no love for dwarves. Perhaps that can be of use to us. Such a proud race, reduced to servitude. <laughs> Sometimes even gods have a sense of humor. That creature, it tore through our forest. We couldn't stop it. The mother goddess will watch over us, for we alone are her rightful children. down there by those slimy beasts. What good is gold? They cannot eat it, sleep upon it, nor use it as a weapon. Gold, music to my ears, along with the words trapped elves. 
Now we just have that 20 ton problem blocking our way. Burning everything to a crisp, especially those slugs, I bet. However, sire, the tank is notoriously unstable, given the right kind of persuasion. The dwarves are fiercely secret about their brewing rituals. This fort must guard the brewery. Ah! 
the mother goddess we haven't had a breath of fresh air for days search for the others they still might be alive Stomach ache, sire. Best to put it out of its misery. Domains need funding, Master. This should do very nicely. If it's gold you seek, there is plenty deeper in the mine. I'd rather die in a slug's belly than let Goldo have it. His greed has cost too many lives.
Help us. Help us. The gold is yours. We don't want it. Slay those beasts and free us. For you. Blessings be upon you. We must find the others. seems obsessed with it. Huh. There's nothing to buy around here. I wonder what he's doing with it.
la guardia. He is no dwarf. Let us out! Let us out! Quick, before the guards return! We are a disgrace to our race. We should have died fighting. We are a disgrace to our race. We should have died fighting. Bless you, stranger. <laughs> That creature, it tore through our forest. We couldn't stop it. Those pipes channel beer straight from the brewery. It's potent stuff. Like minions, dwarves are never more ferocious than when they've had a drink. So watch out, sire. Reds! Blues! You choose all! Yes. 
Ah, a new minion spell. The Legion of Honor spell will boost the defense and attack of your minions. She will also make sure they only attack your enemies, and not just, well, you know, everyone and everything.
Your health has increased. is the center of the dwarves' brewing operations. Their empire is built upon this beverage. Red! You choose all! Do not expect a welcome mat and a guided tour.
the mother goddess statue stolen they make us work build a new temple Ugh. i confess master i have been hatching somewhat of oh, let's call it a cunning plan i won't bore you with details just yet but it involves gaining access to that statue the statue. Judging by that walking cliff face down there, the dwarves are expecting trouble. Don't disappoint them, master. Reds! Oh! seem deadly if you get in their way. So don't.
The birds, the trees. Don't let us die serving the dwarves. We are the first born. We were not meant to do hard labor. To build a temple for our stolen statue. This is the greatest indignity. Please release us from this shame. <laughs> All these rocks. Where are the birds? The trees? We are the first born. We were not meant to do hard labor. Don't let us die serving the dwarves. The mother goddess has not forsaken us. the mother goddess. I must see the trees again. Praise the mother goddess. Thanks, and farewell, friend.
There is still hope for our kind. Mother Goddess, watch over you. Praise the Mother Goddess. The Mother Goddess has not forsaken us. Thanks, and farewell, friend. The Mother Goddess has not forsaken us. I must return to Evernight. I must see the trees again. There is still hope for our kind. Mother Goddess, watch over you. The Mother Goddess has not forsaken us. Mother Goddess, watch over you. the mother goddess. I must see the trees again. Trees. Thank you. 
I suspected it's the creature from the elf temple, sire. Jewel, that thieving female is still after the statue. Object. I like objects. Oh, Mama. Masterful work, sire. Now we come to the critical phase in my cunning plan. Sweep brown minions onto the statue and see what happens. Why 
Don't forget my cunning plan, sire. You must get your minion cap has been upgraded. Wonderful work, sire. Now, we come to the critical phase in my cunning plan. Sweep brown minions onto the statue and see what happens. Browns? Hello! Aha! So the old rumors were true. The statue is hollow! More minions, sire! Choose more! more. She sees the coast is clear. I doubt she knows the secrets of the statue. When they arrive in her domain, your minions will creep out and start looking for a gate. Let us leave this place. Give her a chance to do a dirty work in peace. Spread your evil domain even further, sire. Won't that be nice? Reds! Blues! You 
choose all. An object. I like objects. You choose all. is subsiding. The city has been reopened. Congratulations, sire. You have found a new domination spell. I want to be just like you. Thank you for freeing us. Thank you. 
confusion spell adds a little randomness into battle. You won't necessarily stop enemies attacking you, but they may start attacking each other or running for the hills. Runs right through the mountain. Goldo's stronghold must be on the other side. I smell fear. Reds, blues. You choose all. blues. must lead to the lower levels where they keep the brewing equipment. Drunken scoundrels, obviously too busy swilling beer to keep up proper maintenance. Sanctuary will give you a little peace and quiet. She won't hurt enemies, but she will hold them back while you plan your next evil move. <laughs> the dwarves only build their houses underground to stop rain getting in their beer. Judging by those pipes, this one seems to have a constant supply. Perhaps it's time to sober them up, sire. Ha <laughs> ha ha ha! He's not happy. <laughs> Reds, blues, all. Oh.
kills all.
blues. All browns. Reds, browns, blues, greens. You choose all.
You has arrived in Jules' domain, sire. Your minions have escaped and are searching for a suitable tower gate.
Congratulations, sire. You have found a new domination spell. Oh. Makes all nearby enemies as quiet as lambs, giving you a chance to decide how best to turn them into lamb chops. Arcanium mine is overrun. We did not even have time to save the smelter. Locate that smelter, sire. Then our minions could create some armor truly worthy of you. Oh! <laughs> 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 
just not hygiene. There's never a part of salt or anything you need one.
Bastion spell will not harm innocent sire. It's a pillar of fire so tall and wide, you'd think it could burn the gods from the sky. Not a bad idea, knowing most gods.
you choose all. These levers control the furnaces below. Turn it to the tower, and we will make you something suitably befitting. However, that smelter isn't built for a quick getaway, Master. You must search out a route for it. Retrieved a smelter, sire. More forging options are available.
choose all. Strike a decisive blow against the dwarves. They can't cope with sobriety. Return it to the tower, and your minions will get a permanent boost. And they'll be right terrors to put to bed. Arcanium Smelter, the Smelter of Smelter, sire. It will allow you to create some truly superior weaponry and armor. Hail! Melter needs feeding, Master. Wake up! There's forging to be done.
little forging is restful for the mind, sire. Helps clear your head for the evil deeds ahead. <laughs> to your forge, sire. See to the master's need. This is your armory, sire, where you can store your armor and weapons. Giblet, wake up! There's forging to be done. Great and mighty overlord! have too many of those. You can never have too many of those. Sweet of you, sire. That will brighten the place up. Don't forget inside, sire. You can never have too many of those. wanted one of those. Now don't go spending all your money, Lord. I think you have a flair for this. I've always wanted one of those.
Master of Arcadium Weaponry! Leader of the Minion Army! You should be off smiting things, Master! The last of the elven women. I heard them in there, crying out to me. Without them, our ancient race is surely doomed. You would go into the lair of Evernight's destroyer? Riches abound. But you must be prepared to slay the master and his beast. They say he calls the beast Roly. Slaying and riches. I see no downside to this idea, Master. Your minions are waiting to be embraced by the flames! This is your armory, sire, where you can store your armor and weapons. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Great and mighty overlord! Browns, reds, blue, creams, you choose all, brown, all, blues. Escape from that mother goddess statue are still searching for a tower gate, sire.
choose all. Careful, Lord. You don't want to end up buried in rubble and chunks of dwarf. Green 
evil energy, sire. Browns. This world forget the beauty of the Master, elves. Master, this place is collapsing. It's the gold or the elves. <laughs> oh, let's hope they make it worth leaving all that lovely gold, sire. Now get yourself out of there. Return to your tower, master. I have news about the minions in Jules Domain. The minions have found a secluded gate, sire. I believe this is the Reborian Desert. Hail! Welcome! Glad to see you think about your mistress's needs. I've always wanted one of those. Mistress Rose requests that you join her in your private quarters, sire. Come to tell you about the finer points of running an evil domain. Let me see! Stop pushing! I have diagrams, charts, and a pot of tea on. Do come in. Now you take the. Nice. And some ice. And you squeeze. Total annihilation. Get something sharp. Right in the pencil maneuver. And that's how you do it, sire. Good luck. Ow! Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Great 
Great and mighty overlord. Grinder of... Elf lover. Watch the sand. It gets in all your crevices. Jewel must have a hideout around here. Master, no doubt that guard will alert his friends. Reds, blues, you choose all. Extremely tough, Dark One. Avoidance is the best tactic. 
Prolonged motion on the sand seems to agitate them. Choose all! Your mana has been increased! Careful, Master. They're powerful. The clue's in the name. Regroup! Butt fall down! Go boom! <laughs> Minions clearly don't know the difference between secluded and safe. Apologies, sire. Their brains are quite tiny.
Breeding grounds. Good work. Make sure you keep your minions away from the blast radius. thinking. Another mouthful like that, and there'll be nothing but pretty sand patterns. Taking position. Choose all! Brown. 
You, over there. You two stay here. Why fight when you can pay others to do it for you? Everyone has a price. She's barely left the crib. That young lady needs a smacked bottom.
screams. Reds, you choose all. Reds, all. Oh. Reds, all. Oh. Lose, you choose all. Suggestion, sire. When you find Jewel, don't kill her. What? That little flibberty gibbet knows much of these lands. Capture her, and I think I can persuade her to be a little more talkative. Choose Browns. You must keep moving. to see new places, meet new people, and kill them.
Object. I like objects. For you. For the Choose all!
what better object to steal than the one everyone wants? Can't imagine why. It's an ugly looking thing. I've managed to increase the energy of that tower gate, but not for long. If you can drive her across the gate, I will transport her to your tower. No place to run there. <laughs> your minions to block her escape master having things is not nearly as much fun as stealing them oh. are currently incarcerating her. Return when you wish to begin uh, speaking to our prisoner. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I beg you, bring the statue hither, so that it may be returned to Evernight. It would make a rather splendid tower ornament, sire. I'm sure Mistress Rose is desperate to give it a good dust. <laughs> if you must give the statue back, sire, just walk next to the platform and let your minions put the statue on it. You have done the elves a great service. We will not forget this. The young lady has been restrained, sire. Let me go! Do you know who I am? Do you know who I work for? Spirited creature. A few days in my Iron Maiden will sort that out. Look, wait, I don't do pain. The wizard, he wanted me to pinch the statue. No idea why he even paid me. Ha, I would have done it for free. There's nothing like the rush of the steel. That's Khan! He's coming for me! I wouldn't want to be you right now! That warrior isn't happy that you've snatched his lady friend, Lord. He's attacked Spree! You must stop him before he kills all your worshippers! She's certainly impertinent. Like my sister, only with some actual talent. Salutations! <laughs> Apprehender of thieves! Pincher of sacred relics! Great and mighty overlord! Grinder of Goldo and Ravager of Roly! Elf Lo
Browns. Okay. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 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 
Increased. Defender of thieves, pincher of sacred relics, great and mighty overlord, grinder of goldo and ravager of roly. Help us! He's destroying the town! Come on! Red! Blue! Green! I'm sorry, sire. I'm sorry, sire. They threatened to kill my sheep. Naughty, naughty. Those are minion sheepies. Thank the gods it's you, Lord. He's in here. Oh, no. There goes Stan. There's no coming back from that. Sorry, Lord, but... Our new master's so much bigger than you. Here come his servants. <laughs> Attack the creatures from a bath master. Rain chaos down upon them. <laughs> Reds, blues, reds, greens, you choose all. can only attack those creatures from above, sire. Move them higher. Minions higher, Lord.
creatures from above, Master. Rain chaos down upon them. Run! <laughs> Choose all! Hey! Oh, hey! Uh, we didn't mean to betray you, sire. It just sort of uh, happened. We were weak. Forgive us. Let us worship you again, sire. They have the loyalty of potatoes, sire. Do with them what you will, but make it quick. Khan is heading for Heaven's Peak. We were so frightened, Lord. Well, we didn't know what to do. You know, I think they might need more innkeepers in Ruboria. We were so frightened, Lord. Well, we didn't know what to do. Don't worry. All be over soon. Creatures from above, Master! Rain chaos down upon them! <laughs>
need your protection, sire. You, you took her away from me. You make Khan angry. Greetings. You do it all. to hurt her.
is mine. He cannot stop me. You cannot stop me. is required. Return to the tower. All hail the return of the Overlord, the one true evil. Oh no, not you, the real Overlord. Yes. I've always been loyal to evil. I don't ask questions. Evil is as evil does. Welcome back, sire. I am home. 
Even if I did have to hitch a ride inside this wizened and weary body. I believe you've met my tortoise, Velvet. I barely recall him, Daddy. She has been most useful to me. And then there's Rose. Sadly, she has not been so cooperative. As if I could side with someone that thinks my sister is useful. You thought you'd killed me, didn't you? You and your hero friends. But I'd planned a little trip, you see. Really get under good skin. <laughs> Literally. That fool wizard thought he'd won. Until I purged his very soul and became one with his mortal carcass. Now that, you'll agree, is a cunning plan. One by one, the others fell to my corrupting influence. Those walls of goodness, purity, obedience. One just has to know where to push. And as for you, you fell, and they left you behind in their desperation to become heroes. I gave you a second chance, a different path. You were of use to me. But now you're just in my way. Minions! Master! Master! We are your minions, sire! He was nothing compared to you, your supreme evilness! I believe you've been borrowing my spells. No more. Now. I shall eliminate your physical presence. You already dealt with the others for me, my little puppet. <laughs> Master, while you still have power left, I can speak directly to you. There must be a way to stop him. I've got it! The Tower Heart! Rose, where are you going? Don't make me kill you. the Tower Heart. You always were the smart one. If only you'd joined me. No matter. Once I absorb your energy, I will restore it to its full power. Minions! You need to go after him, now. Get your minions back. That's the only way you'll stand a chance. Yuck. That room is full of beetles. They're getting stuck in my boots. Ooh, nothing like a little snack with your entertainment. You are a decent overlord. I might even miss you. Master? 
Mester! Mester! He's been Overlord a lot longer than you, but you're a fast learner. Did you have fun killing off your old friends? Don't you remember how they left you for dead? The tower remembers. It has absorbed their whinings, their betrayal of you. Listen to them. Is he dead? Surely no one could have survived that fall. We must help him. He fought beside us. There may still be a chance. No, we gotta go. Take what we can and get out of here. He's right. We vanquished the evil. He has earned his rest. Leave him. Then my minions found you, healed you, made you ready to become my successor temporarily. <laughs> A minion hive. That's it, sire. Now find the others. Don't be too despondent. You did quite well. If you defeat him, I'll gladly oh. have you back. I mean, serve you. 
I must confess, you did impress me. You livened the place up. Daddy never had time for us before. Always off smiting evil somewhere. New Daddy sees my potential. He may look like him, but that's not my father. You were a decent overlord. I might even miss you. Thank <laughs> you. 
dreams. want to be heroes. They're so predictable. So are you. Hero now. <laughs> I think she likes you, Sir William. You if you want all. to slip away with her, I won't tell anyone. That jewel had everything. It turned out what she wanted was what other people had. you love taking away, isn't it, Khan? When reason is gone, nothing is left but madness. Koto, you can have all the gold you've ever wanted, my friend. No one would refuse a hero. Madness. 
Goldo, you can have all the gold you've ever wanted, my friend. No one would refuse a hero. Have another roast pig, Melvin. Have two. You're a hero now. <laughs> Greens? You chose all. I think she likes you, Serena. If you want to slip away with her, I won't tell anyone. Greens? That jewel had everything. <laughs> The good. They don't know how close to evil they really are. <laughs> Have a rest, Oberon. Heroes need their rest. And so the evil overlord defeated the other evil overlord, and the land rejoiced. His domain flourished. Evil became a part of everyday life. His minions went forth and multiplied. The people were in awe of their great leader. He, his mistress, and all their little minions lived happily ever after. <laughs> But evil will always find a way. <laughs> The Rubaulian Desert is bristling with evil energy, Dark One.
Blue Rest. You choose all. All. trying to run away from you. Honest. Uh, we weren't trying to... Those creatures you see are wraiths, spirits of the evil dead. In fact, I think I see a few old drinking jars. Well, at least they were burnt. Something very powerful must have opened this rift to their world. Still, we can't just have evil abysses cropping up anywhere they like and threatening your evil domination. I remember when one appeared in the minion dunk pile. Gave Giblet quite a shock. No, 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 can't have that. You must investigate further, sire. For the overlord. For the overlord. I think I prefer your fireballs to this place. Oh no, he's got that look about him. And I've only just been reincarnated. Oh, get me out of here, Lord. I promise I'll worship you every day. Oh, it doesn't matter. They all just come back again. Beautiful, beautiful. I could watch that all day. Don't stop! Don't stop! I was working in my field, Master, then whoosh! Suddenly I'm working down here! Only now, I'm bunt to a crisp every half an hour! I'm sweating like a sheep on market day.
Don't go near the pumpkins, I tell you. They're fearless little varmints. I saw them eat a sheep once. A whole one. Hooves and all. I think one of them's chewing my foot. I think one of them's chewing. Angry pumpkins. Deadly, sire. Deadly. Second only to a happy tomato. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you doing, you little brutes? Don't you threaten me! Oh, okay, 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 I'll, I'll go quietly.
It's the tormented spirit of Melvin, sire. Looks like he's getting all the food he could ever wish for down here. All that flesh wobbling from side to side. Oh, it's almost hypnotic. Oh, this should be interesting. <laughs> That's the way to end a meal. Oh, there he goes again, blowing up and reincarnating like that must hurt like <laughs> hell. Ha! But look at him. Melvin just can't seem to stop himself. This food just lying about. Lord, that wobbly ball of lard might prove handy here. That is, if you can make use of his fatal bouts of indigestion. <laughs> What's being spawning those pumpkins? Oh, be careful, sire. That's one big mother. Reds, blues, you choose greens. Oh. oh. They must be preparing Melvin's eternal feast. Oh, damnation is busy work. Uh, I think there must be some kind of mistake, sire. 
You couldn't have a word with someone. Best use for sheep, sire. I think I can hear Melvin drooling from here. And my wife said she could never get me in the kitchen. All this cooking, it's like home, only appetizing. Lots for your minions to destroy down here, Lord. Just, uh, not me, please. And my wife said she could never get me in the kitchen. They're gonna eat me. Oh, don't let them eat me, Lord. Free me. Free me, sire. Before they stuff an apple in my mouth and serve me to Melvin. for sheep, sire. I think I can hear Melvin drooling from here. I thought I'd escape Melvin, but he's down here too. All this cooking, it's like home, only appetizing. Gonna cook me! Get me back to my home and I'll give you something for your little jabs. They're gonna cook me! All this food just lying about. <laughs> Lots for your minions to destroy down here, Lord. Just, uh, not me, please. Will someone just give me some food? Potato peelings, apple cores, a Brussels sprout even. Anything. Those are yours, Lord. T take them, take them. You choose all.
Sire, Ooh, it looks like a piece of the forge. Ah, of course, it's a mold. This will allow you to create a unique item in your forge, sire. Won't that be nice? It's a mold for the Axe of Confusion, my lord. Strike with this weapon, and you have a random chance of spreading a little extra panic and mayhem amongst your enemies. <laughs> Charging, sire. Must think you're fooled.
In the warm, bit of a stretch, giant exploding halfling to watch. What more could a man wish for? I feel inclined to whistle. I have no idea why. <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> oh, it's all down my front now. I thought to myself, if there's something to be looted, killed or ransacked, my master won't be far away.
Melvin fares on an eternal diet of dirt and earthworms. Actually, a, a nice juicy earthworm can be rather yummy. That glowing object must be the key to controlling this abyss site. Keep those waves distracted and return it to the tower gate. This is yours, Dark Master. Please don't try bringing it back to the tower. Giblet is already getting nasty flashbacks. <laughs> oh, I feel another surge of evil energy, my lord. It's coming from Heaven's Peak. Must be another of those wretched abyss gates. I can feel two more energy surges, my lord. There are more gates. One is enrapturing the elves of Evernight, so we can only hope it leads to something horrible. And either those dwarves have started blowing themselves up, or another gate has emerged in the Golden Hills. Yeah! <laughs> 
Pull yourself together, man. You have given our deaths meaning. Oh, another of those gates? Perhaps all that concentrated evil from those heroes is forcing something to the surface, like some kind of separating pustule. I hear it's a new theatrical production about the glories of the elven race. Oh, I do hope there's enough seating. Everyone's trying to get in to see this. Those roots don't seem to like the light. Oh, I know how they feel. My eyes! My poor eyes! I... Everybody, elves. Again. My eyes cannot continue to watch this no, travesty. No, please, no. And Oberon Greenhaze. Ah, I see we have a special guest in the back. Now, welcome to the Terror of Evernight Forest. I do hope you enjoy the show. Act One, in which the elven race live peacefully deep in the Evernight Forest, protected by the unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. Oh, brother, how lucky we elves are to live in the bounteous green bosom of Evernight. I, my friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. For although she is a cold and uncaring harlot, undeserving of worship, she alone will listen to our woe, our sorrow, and our poetry. Cold and uncaring harlot, eh? The writer of this play doesn't seem to like the Mother Goddess much. Or the elves, for that matter. Mm, I think I'm a fan already. And two, <laughs> in which the dwarves attack Evernight, crushing the elves into the ground of their precious forest. <sighs> now that's entertainment! Act three, in which the terror comes to Evernight Forest. Oh, where is it? 
Where, where's the terror? I want the terror! So, oh, what do you mean it's broken? Okay, back to act one again, everyone. It's not like you lot don't need to practice. Oh, Shane, just as it was getting good. Perhaps you should locate this terror of Evernight, sire. He'll bang things with a bang. Act one, in which the elven race live peacefully deep in the Evernight forest, protected by the unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. Oh, brother, how lucky we elves are to live in the bounteous green bosom of Evernight. Aye, my friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. For although she is a cold and uncaring harlot, undeserving of worship, she alone will listen to our woe, our... There's the Abyss Stone, sire. Oberon's roots are covering it. I never said that. Act two, in which the dwarves attack Evernight, crushing the elves into the ground of their precious forest. Can they call this art? race live peacefully deep in the Evernight Forest, protected by the unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. Oh, brother, how lucky we elves are to live in the bounteous green bosom of Evernight. I, my friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. For, although she is a cold and uncaring harlot, undeserving of our worship, she alone will listen to our woe, our sorrow, and our poetry. Act two, in which the dwarves attack Evernight, crushing the... Ah, there's the lighting cue. Right, act one again. It's Roly. That must be the... <laughs> Terror. Oh, better find a way to reach it, my lord. <laughs> Choose all! Treasure! Oh 
This must be where those rapes playing the dwarves get ready, sire. Ah, splendid work. Very moving. You couldn't get me an autograph, could you? <laughs> Act two, in which the dwarves attack Evernight, crushing the elves into the ground of their precious forest. <sighs> Act one, in which the elven race live peacefully, deep in the Evernight forest, protected by their unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. I, my friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. in which the dwarves attack Evernight Forest. Dwarves! I think that's your cue, Master. <laughs> Act two, in which the dwarves attack Evernight Forest. Dwarves! Dwarves! I think that's your cue, Master. Act two, in which the dwarves attack Evernight Forest. Dwarves! Terror still broken, back to Act One. One, in which the elven race live peacefully, deep in the Evernight Forest, protected by their unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. I, my friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. For, although she is a cold and uncaring harlot, Undeserving of our worship, she alone will listen to our woe, our sorrow, and our poetry. Act two, in which the dwarves attack every night, crushing the elves into the ground of their precious forest. Remember, dwarves, I want to feel hate. I want to feel anger. I want to smell the beard on your beards. I can't perform under these conditions. Act 
down. Prepare for Act One, you useless creatures. <sighs> Without the terror, the play can't progress to the third act. I hear it has a great ending, sire. Truly epic. There must be a way further backstage. Ah, uh, well, if in doubt, push, smash, or kill until you get some answers, master. You must be right behind the stage, sire. It's where all the lovely, wonderful magic of the theater happens. <laughs> Elven race live peacefully, deep in the Evernight Forest, protected by the unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. I know that voice, that condescending tone. Oh, don't worry, it'll come to me, sire. Aye, my friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. For although she is a cold and uncaring harlot, Undeserving of worship, she alone will listen to our woe, our sorrow, and our poetry. Act two. It, it appears to be a mace mold, Dark Master. Remember, dwarves, I want to feel hate. I want to feel anger. I want to smell the beard on your beards. I can't perform under these conditions. I have played kings, you know, kings. Queens! Reds! Down, 
Prepare for Act One, you useless creatures. Without the terror, the play can't progress to the third act. I hear it has a great ending, sire. Truly epic. There must be a way further backstage. Ah, uh, well, if in doubt, push, smash, or kill until you get some answers, Master. Act One, in which the elven race live peacefully, deep in the Evernite Forest, protected by their unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. Yes, Master. I might... Ah, you found the terror, sire. You know, I think this could be your starring role. If you can find a way to fix that, you can now create the Mace of Doom, sire. I haven't seen an of doom weapon for years. Each power strike from this will send your enemies flying through the air. <laughs> I, my friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. One, you useless creatures. Without the terror, the play can't progress to the third act. I hear it has a great ending, sire. Truly epic. There must be a way further backstage. Uh, well, if in doubt, push, smash, or kill until you get some answers, master. Act one, in which the elven race live peacefully. Deep in the Evernight Forest, protected by the unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. Dark Master. Act three, in which the terror comes to Evernight Forest. My shit. That's it. Now, it's the terror terrifying things. What pain. I want... Ah, 
the smell of dead actors, the screams of the crowd, takes me back to my community theater days. Crush them! Crush those mother goddess worshippers! It appears to be a mace mold, Dark Master. You can now create the Mace of Doom, Sire. I haven't seen an of doom weapon for years. Each power strike from this will send your enemies flying through the air. Burn him! Burn him! Burn the hero! Certainly keen to see Oberon suffer. Blue can't fault his dedication to the craft. Greens. Oh. Play and my abyss. They're after the stone, my lord. Reds, blues. Oh. Greens. How can I have my play? Without my play, how will I be remembered? I 
must be remembered. So, you enjoyed the show, Subcreature? I see you have an appreciation for the finer points of punishment. Your actions amuse me. I have plenty more abysses. Why don't you entertain me by trying to conquer those? <laughs> you and your little vermin army. <laughs> you are master of the elven abyss, sire. However, if what he said is true, we have work to do. Oh, sire, our women went into this gate. Apart from Molly at the inn, that is. Even though those demons have gone, our girls won't come out. They say they're fed up with us. And I want my tea. And my tummy hurts. And my socks are full of holes. Please see if you can talk some sense into them, Dark Lord. Please come back, ladies! Without her, my feet get cold at night. You'll convince them to come back to us, won't you, Sire? The house just isn't the same. Oh, not you. That thing. What was its name again? I forget. Anyway, it opened up this abyss for us so we could get a bit of peace from those creatures of yours. Up in Heaven's Peak, it was succubus this, succubus that. Why don't you have wings like she's got? And it's all his fault. Now that filthy slug is oozing around and stopping our lackeys cleaning properly. They're useless at anything else. Can't arrange flowers. Can't even cross-stitch a sampler. I'm trying my best, my lady. This is clearly some new breed of evil, sire. Proceed with caution. Red. Blues. See? He's just like the rest. Useless. You just can't get the help these days, can you, Doris? Oh, that's disgusting. Clean that up at once. You'll find the cleaning machine over there. You need more than a minion to operate that, Master. It's a known fact that paladins remove 99% of all household stains, including demon vomit, rabbit badger phlegm, and slug goo.
Yes, yes, that's a very fitting punishment. You cleaned up his mess. Now he can clean up ours. You look at that, Val. He's done it. He's actually done it. Hmm. Perhaps you can be of use elsewhere. Let him through, girls! We thought a bit of greenery around here would brighten the place up. Tea on the lawn, a spot of croquet, you know. But that stuff just keeps growing. And we're not mowing it. Play along, sire. Play along. I know it's undignified, but we must lure this evil out in the open. <laughs> Look, it's all growing back now. We can't have our tea on that. my lawn and I want it now. You're just not trying, are you? Looks like he's a keeper, Mav. Could be, could be. Let's see what this dark creature can do about the parlor.
for a new helmet. the harvesting helmet lord put that on your head and you will be able to harvest more life force <laughs> for a nice bit of embroidery in a place like this. The slugs keep breeding and attracting the rats. I keep poking them with my knitting needles, but they won't go away. One almost feels sorry for them. The rats and slugs, that is. Consider these to be mercy killing signs. Red. Yeah. Blue. Yeah. Green. Yeah. You choose all. Stop them before they start messing with the furnishings. Stop them before they start messing with the furnishings. Stop them before they start messing with the furnishings. Stop them before they start messing with the furnishings. Idiot. Stop them before they start messing with the furnishings. Nasty things. Rats! Rats! More disgusting death than alive. Get him! Get him! Squish away, just make sure you clean up afterwards. Yeah. I can't even look at them! Just by 
can see you've really got the hang of it. But don't think you're coming up here without bringing us a present. Yes, yes, something pretty that smells nice. I think I have a few old eyeballs in my room, Lord. Or I could get Gubbin to dig around in the dung pile. These women are terrifying! They try to make me wear this little leather outfit, Lord. Ooh. Couldn't your minions just carry them off? Somewhere a long, long way away. Don't go near them. They've got some moves. Lovely. That, what's his name, Fingy Beast, will be so pleased to see what we've done with his abyss. <gasps> Unless you do something, sire, this place will be spewing out scatter cushions and floral prints. Not gentlemanly. Brown, Red, blue, green. listens the eyes are open but he ain't listening but you're just the same You've done. My husband snores. Blue. You'll make me go home and I'll Green. take a pillow to him, I will.
it's not gentlemanly. Greens? You choose all. You can't make me go back up there to wash his socks. You're messing the place up. Them on behalf of all males everywhere. We'll soon have them out of their evil ways and into something small and insubstantial. Coming, mistress! The kettle's just boiled! No, no, I, I won't forget the biscuits. Oh, rat, it's off the hook. Sire, better take it quickly before the creature those females mentioned comes back. Was it a creature? Memory like a sheep these days. <laughs> Perhaps it was a plant or some kind of giant pig. <laughs>
William and his friends Rick. are trying to destroy Lose. the Abyss Stone and take control of this Abyss. Stop them at once! Greens? <laughs> oh. Sire. Now, about those ladies and some insubstantial clothing? Brown, red, blue, green, all. Look after him better this time. No visiting suck you by for us. Our lovely ladies are back. Ah, oh, thank you, Sawyer. We'll look after him better this time. No visiting suck you by for us. For you. Straight ahead, my lord. in there the dwarves want, which probably means it's drinkable or valuable.
Sire, I detect some sentience emanating from that golden Goldo statue. I think our grumpy little friend's spirit may still reside in it. A golden prison! Now that's eternal damnation with some style! Thank you! that Wraith doesn't get tired of watching dwarves explode. However, we're going to need him out of the way if you want that gold. And by out of the way, I mean dead again. trundling after that gold. They still can't resist it. Why don't you see what happens if you lure him to a bigger piece? them out, Shire. <laughs> the dwarves' hatred for Goldo was even greater than their lust for gold. His incarceration amused me. But perhaps it is only fitting that he is hacked apart by his own people. <laughs>
Waldo certainly doesn't like it. Go on! Hit him harder! Hit him harder! The Abyss Stone is buried inside Goldo. Better lure a few more angry beards in here to dig that little fellow out. Reds, blues, greens, all. Oh. have had a little too much of the good stuff. Careful they don't throw up on you, Master. Vomit stains are a devil to shift. They seem very determined, though. I wonder where they're heading. Reds! Blues! Oh!
choose all.
That seemed a little too easy. You choose all! Greens, reds, blues, all! Ah, that will be what we in the evil profession like to call a trap. Browns. Oh!
me are ruining my plans! Those heroes must be punished! They had everything. Fame, wealth, adulation, and they wasted it! Their suffering will bring me to rats, sire! I know that creature from my demons, deities, and the damned lessons as a young minion. Can't quite put a name to it. Seems the more I think about it, the more the memory fades. <laughs> you choose all. Choose all!
is rebuilding itself. Keep those dwarves busy, Lord. Master, you need more dwarves. Statue is rebuilding itself. Keep those dwarves busy, Lord. <laughs> Master, you need more dwarves. Yeah. 
Take a look. The sword of life stealing. Oh, that's one of my favorite weapons, that is. Hurts your foes with it, and it heals you. Deliciously evil.
dreadful types, those wraiths. I wonder what would happen if you gave those dwarves a bit of liquid refreshment. Even out the odds a bit. for a damnation dimension.
Master, you need more dwarves. The statue is rebuilding itself. Keep those dwarves busy, Lord. Master, you need more dwarves. <laughs> Master, you need more dwarves. Goto's regenerating! You need more dwarfs, sire!
Congratulations! You are master of the Golden Abyss, Dark Lord. Entertaining, but you have yet to see my final act. The armor of fire, master! Oh, when your enemies hit you and you're wearing this, they can randomly burst into flames! <laughs> I almost burst into flames once. Actually, let, let's not go there. <laughs> resonates with evil energy. Perhaps the proximity of the other of these stones might coax it to a lock. Whoa! 
Warm up your fireballs, oh lord. The power behind this one is greater than anything we've encountered. Master, ready your millions. Reds, blues, yes, master. greens. You choose all. having to scrape up your overlord when he splattered all over an evil abyss. I keep getting this nagging feeling in the back of my mind, sire. A scab of a memory I just can't pick. Yeah. <laughs> 
follow that path. It looks important. <laughs> If you see any rosy-cheeked maidens whinging about goblin kings, or if anything starts singing, kill them! Please don't set me on fire! I smell terrible! Rest! Come here, It's you! And you brought your army! Oh, I feel so much better now. This creature tied me up. He said it was called... Uh, I forgot. You choose all. Carry on, carry on, don't mind me. Oh. I'm soggy, I'm soggy. I won't mind. <laughs> <Take my turn. laughs> they call this place the Infernal Abyss. <laughs> I really Rex. don't like the sound of that. Ah, that's better. You can see where you're going now. These peasants seem particularly flammable, Master. This creature tied me up. He said it was called... Uh, I forgot. This creature tied me up. He said it was called... Uh, I forgot. Don't burn me! Burn him! He looks all lovely and flammable. I'm soggy. I'm soggy. I won't light. Please don't set me on fire. I smell terrible. This creature tied me up. He said it was called... Uh, I 
off a gun. It's you, and you brought your army. Oh, I feel so much better now. Please don't set me on fire. I smell terrible. Hey, you remember oh. me? You crushed my house once. You. I'm soggy. Oh. I'm soggy. I won't like. Yeah. You choose all. Carry on, carry on. Don't mind me. I'm soggy. I won't light. This creature tied me up. He said it was called. Uh, I forgot. Don't burn me. Burn him. He looks all lovely and flammable. This creature tied me up. He said it was called. Uh, I forgot. Please don't set me on fire! I smell terrible! Oh! The increased light must attract them! It's you! And you brought your army! Oh, I feel so much better now! I can hear them in the darkness. You choose all. Corn hurts. Corn hurts. Oh, it's so dark in here. It's you, and you brought your army. Oh, I feel so much better now. The creatures, I can hear them in the darkness. Oh, it's so dark in here. One of those wraiths put something down my trousers. Crush it! Crush it! Reds! They never chained me up back home in spring! Jules, oh! One of those wraiths put something down my trousers.
they never train me up back home in spray. Let's. Khan is not happy. You! I know you! You took her! You took my little sugar plum! Come here, I'll tear you apart with my teeth. Well, if it isn't our old friend Khan, looks like his anger has literally blown him to pieces. Scratch my left leg, please. Do you think Joe would still love me like this? must be the infernal abyss. When this deity's former spouse, the mother goddess, found him in the arms of another, she cursed him. Anyone who tries to remember him starts to forget him. That's almost as bad as death for a god. The curse must be weakened the closer you get to his lair. The overeating, the play, those females. He must be trying to claw his way back into the world, making every creature suffer as he does. What you want to go in there for? Is he here to save us? You choose all! You've got to be quick with those switches! Don't touch that wheel! The switches must be on a timer, sire! Bloody gods never just have a door knocker and a welcome mat!
stay out here. You get your own chains. The gates are open, Master. Time to put a little hurt in on that meddling deity. It's like to be forgotten, sub-creature. Once my name was spoken in whispers, it brought dread to this land. Now that petulant goddess wishes my name lost in the mists of time. No more! I will awaken their nightmares, their darkest memories. They will remember me, and they will remember what they feared! again strike terror in the hearts of all creatures Whoa! 
try living with a goddess. Your death was meant to free me. You want the infernal abyss? Take it. May it be your eternal prison. Hello, hello, Naya. Are you there? I'm getting some kind of interference. If you can hear me, master, get the abyss gate. I have seen evil masters come and go. Exploded. Disintegrated. Emoliated. Even one time eaten by a giant weasel. But I admit, I had a soft spot for this last one. Ah, he may still find a way to escape the infernal abyss. But we may have to find a new master. Well, evil always finds a way.
There's sand all over the place, sire. You've brought half the Ruborian desert back with you. Think of my crevices, sire. Hmm. 